please stop what you're doing. You're going to want to see this. A man paralyzed from the neck down, walking again, thanks to a new medical innovation that could bring hope to so many families. Will Reeve is back with this remarkable story. I know it hits home for you. It really does, and it's an honor to tell it, and we should get right to it because it is big news. In conjunction with the piece you're about to see, the Mayo Clinic in Minnesota is publishing the results of a stem cell trial. The first patient in the trial is Chris Barr, paralyzed from the neck down nearly three years ago, told he would never walk again. He was ready to take his own life. With love and support from his family, Chris held on and started to fight. Now, thanks to this potentially groundbreaking treatment he received, he can fight on his own two feet. It's a life unimaginable. Sit still. Don't shift your weight. Don't scratch your nose or scroll on your phone. Don't move at all. Imagine waking up and suddenly this is your new life, your every day, your forever. I think I remember driving to the beach that morning. I only know what everyone told me, you know, what happened afterwards. For Chris Barr, young, successful, active, it was a surfing accident in February 2017. It's exactly like it is in the movies where, you know, it's like a fisheye lens opening up and the doctor says, uh, you're paralyzed from the neck down and you've had a really bad neck injury. So the prognosis was, was bad. Um, and bad meaning, you know, probably a 95 to 97% chance that I'll have nothing below my neck. So lifetime of no movement. Exactly. I asked my wife for permission to pull the plug. I said, yes, I will support whatever you want to do, but can you give us just a little time, just a little bit of time? And you said yes. The new norm, rehab, physical therapy, months of small improvements, glimmers of hope. First a toe, then a leg, even his hands. Then the progress plateaued. You ask yourself, is that all there is? Is this all the further we're going to go? Is this, is this it? So very, very dark nights of the soul at that time. Then where'd the light come back in? Dr. Biden. <laughs> the phone call from Dr. Biden. Dr. Muhammad Biden, a spinal cord researcher leading an innovative trial at the Mayo Clinic in Minnesota. In the potentially historic study, Chris would be patient number one. Patient number one? Yeah. There's got to be some anxieties associated with that. None. None. You, you got to understand, you've got absolutely nothing to lose. I mean, this is exactly why I stuck around, was to do something. Stem cells from Chris's own stomach fat were injected into his spinal cord to regenerate and repair the injury. But what happened next is potentially groundbreaking news this morning. How soon did you see improvement from that procedure? It was fast. It was fast. I felt it going in. I felt it in my legs. I hadn't felt anything in my legs for, you know, for almost a year. Can you raise the slack? We do all the testing and all the numbers just jumped off the charts. After we treated him, the improvements started to come quickly. If you push down on my knees, let me blow your mind. Wow. Whoa. Uh. Wow. And those improvements began to come very rapidly. Hold on, hold on. All right. Wow. You ready? Then a milestone some might call miraculous. Chris Barr was doing what he and many thought would never happen again. He was walking. Does it feel good? Does it feel nice to just stand? And... Yeah, it does. Uh, never thought you'd do this again. I'm telling you. You're, you're standing and walking. We're living it. Well, this is, this is a step forward. And, you know, I don't know if these are, are baby steps or, you know, Neil Armstrong steps, but they're absolutely steps in the right direction. And like I said, in, in a place where there was just hopelessness, um, you know, stuff is happening. Can you high five? Right now, there is no cure for spinal cord injury. Too slow. Oh, wow. Is this a breakthrough? This is a first step in developing a breakthrough. Should we take a walk back? You've had a long day. Progress is measured in decades. But for Chris Barr, patient number one, it's measured in steps. A future he imagined confined to a wheelchair changed, now brighter. Trying Whoa. to moonwalk. Trying to moonwalk. <laughs> Come on, you said you'd oh, do it. I have to do it. <laughs> That's I'll all you, you got? I'll let you do that. <laughs> <laughs>
I'll moonwalk with Chris Barr any day. The Mayo Clinic cautions ABC News that this is a phase one study with only 10 patients. Not all of them are super responders like Chris. In the research world, this is very early stages, but Chris's result has been amazing so far, and his recovery means so much for the spinal cord injury community. And it'll mean so much to you and your family. I don't know if you realize this. This is the proud son of Dana and Christopher Reeve, <laughs> Superman. <laughs> <laughs> you can and relate. That's me as a baby. No. And so you can relate because this is what your father was hoping for and your mother I, that they were fighting absolutely. for. Absolutely. And I, I noticed that the the bond between Chris and Debbie reminded me of my own parents. And there was a moment when we were talking and Chris reached out to grab Debbie. Mm -hmm. And that's something that he thought he would never be able to do again. To initiate that touch, that love that he gets to express physically is something that I know that that my dad missed more than anything and that my mom missed as well and it was great to see. They are smiling down on their son right now. Thank you.